Two archaeologists from St. Louis are trading in the Missouri woods for the Amazon rainforest. They are about to embark on a quest to find a lost civilization. Tracy Henson met with the researchers in Forest Park to learn about what they're looking for. The first to ever identify like an entire culture that lived there. That's the dream for Terra Incognita Research Institute archaeologists Dr. Daniel Pierce and Chris Bodine. Somewhere in the middle of the Amazon, then up the river, several hundred miles. Then once we get to up the river, we're going to go into the jungle several more miles and try and confirm what we've seen through satellite imagery. In their lab at Missouri State, they've identified clues to what may be hidden in the vines and canopy of the jungle. We've found some large man-made features like geometric designs. Possible roads, buildings, and trails identified using LIDAR. LIDAR is a, it's a sensor that you can attach to either an airplane or a drone, and it shoots laser pulses towards the surface of the Earth. Creating a highly detailed map of the surface. With different codes, and you can remove the trees or the leaves or the buildings and leave just the bare ground, and it allows you to see what's underneath the trees. Virtually peeling away the forest, they think they've found a lost city in the Amazon, now they have to prove it. Evidence of a large scale permanent settlement of a complex civilization that nobody knew was there. A mission that goes beyond bragging rights. For the native peoples uh, in Brazil in particular in the Amazon because of the rubber tappers and the illegal loggers, it's a way for them to prove that they have sovereignty over the, the land, that they were there and that they own it, and that they own the rights to the land. And possibly rewrite history. The Amazon probably didn't exist in the form it exists today, and it actually may have looked more like Missouri. Like our mix of forests and open areas. Tracy Henson, Five on Your Side. They are working with limited research dollars and have started a crowdfunding campaign to complete their expedition.